Kenny Howe with Drum Talk TV. We're still on the third and final night of the Bonzo Bash, the Bonzo Invasion, if you will, the East Coast Invasion of the Bonzo Bash. We are here in beautiful Englewood, New Jersey at the Bergen County Performing Arts Center, and I've got, I've got a wonderful treat tonight. I get to talk to John Hummel. Now, I gotta tell you something. I was inside, and I got a chance to see John play, and another fan converted. Is all I can tell you guys. But anyways, John, absolutely thank you for being here. It's awesome, man. You did such a wonderful job, man. It's killer. Thank you did a great you. job, man. It's great. Thank John you. killed it. He killed it. So anyways, let me ask you a couple of questions, man. Nothing, you know, nothing crazy, but what did Bonham mean to you as a drummer? Tell me. Man, just about everything. I mean, he's got, in his playing, everything is there. You know, it's heavy, yeah. it's subtle. It's sensitive, it's brutal. Yeah. And it's you know what's uh, really cool about that too? I've been going around and talking to a couple of the other players and I kept coming up with this three words. And the three words I kept coming up with to talk to everybody about that kept popping into my mind was power, grace, and groove. Yeah. I mean, this guy exemplified all of these things. And I will tell you something. Seeing him play, he had the power, he had the grace, he had the groove. Okay? But John, watch this. Give me an example in your estimation of John Bonham's power. What would be a good song example of his power? Uh, Dazed and Confused. Dazed and Confused, that's amazing. How about his grace? Um, Fall in the Rain. Fall in the Rain, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. You can also throw that in the groove column, too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that had it all. Yeah, that's true, it did. You know, and I gotta tell you something, guys. This has been a phenomenal event. There's been some of the best drummers on the planet doing the best drumming on the planet. These guys are real professionals. It's like a family atmosphere. I, I think, you know, from my standpoint, I would never ever want to miss this event. This was really great. So, you know, just tell me, John, what are you up to nowadays, man? Where can we come see you? I mean, this is going to cause a stir when you play this tune, man. You know, where can we come see you play? Um, well, I'm playing with a band called the Matt O'Ree Band. Oh, very cool, man. And we're, we, we play all over the country. Excellent. We do a lot of touring. Excellent. Are you guys out right now? Well, we actually, we had a tour that ended uh, last week, and it ended in New Mexico. Very nice. And I actually had to fly back to get here for the rehearsals for the Bronze Bash. Oh my god, that's so awesome. So if I stayed in the bus, we would have gotten here yesterday. <laughs> oh, I know, I know, that would have been bad. Yeah. But you know something, John was gracious enough, because you were interviewed before, correct? Yeah. And he's decided to come do this again, and I mean, I can't, I can't thank him enough. I mean, his effort tonight really showed, you know, the great spirit that guys still have for John Bonham. I mean, this guy is still an influence today. Yeah. You know, when we were coming down here, I stopped at a place in Connecticut in a music store, and I talked to a 20-year-old drummer who was an absolute Bonham fanatic. I mean, he, when he found out I was coming down to the Bash to do this little bit of work, he was like, Oh my God! Well, you got to do this, and you got to do that, and Bonham used this, and, and I was like, "Wow, this guy's 20 years old." So I mean, John Bonham is relevant, he's still absolutely is. relevant. Now, do you carry a lot of, you know, Bonham's traits when you play? I mean, do you do you find yourself sometimes saying, "Man, I was just like Bonham"? Uh, no, no, no. I mean, I find myself doing things that were like maybe kind of look kind of like Bonham, but I, I never think, "Wow." I just sounded like John Bonham because nobody can. Nobody can sound like John Bonham, but Bonham. And you know the cool thing about John Bonham? What's that? I can sound like I can sound like myself trying to play John Bonham, or myself playing John Bonham's looks. But what's really cool though is that's the spirit of this. Yeah. The spirit of this event is everybody brings what they are and what they do, and they play a tune with a great band. Yeah. A great band. I mean, I thought Brian was amazing. He's doing such a great job. Well, everybody is. I had. I had, and I didn't need to cut you off, Kyle, but I had the opportunity to be behind John when he played his song. A lot of power was coming back at me, all right? There was a lot of air coming back at me, man. You did a great job, man. You sounded absolutely fantastic. When you guys think of power, grace, and groove, we're going to think of Bonham. We're going to think of Portman. We're going to think of Chad Smith. We're going to think of, I don't want to leave anybody out. Someone always told me, don't start naming names because you'll never get them all. Everybody on this ticket sounded amazing and you guys should really do yourselves a favor find john hummel look him up check him out he's the real deal he plays beautifully had a great time john thank you for being so gracious and talking to me again man i know you're probably beat up and you just want to get some rest but i'll tell you what man it was a pleasure talking to you and uh, this is kenny howard for drum talk tv i'm with john hummel 
Beautiful job. Cat's a player. Talk to you later.